Friends, family members, and fellow aviators today said goodbye to a man they say was a great pilot and mentor. James Henry Hale died last week during a mid-air collision in San Diego. The retired Air Force fighter pilot lived in Colorado but was originally from Prestonsburg. WYMT's Matthew Rand has the story. Lieutenant Colonel James Henry Hale received full military honors at his burial Wednesday. Hale's fellow wild weasel pilots shared their memories of the man they knew as Dick. I loved him because he didn't have a politically correct bone in his body. He would, he would be very direct. You knew where he stood. He would never pulled any punches. After retiring from the Air Force, we're told Hale worked as a private pilot at one time flying fighter jets for the Navy. We actually got a uh, Marine close air support contract for the company. We were the guys that did the fly off and uh, so we were actually training Marines that were calling in airstrikes over in Afghanistan. Fellow aviators called Hale a natural flyer and a strong leader who touched the lives of many. He was a mentor to all of us. He could have been a brother, he could have been an uncle, he could have been a father. Uh, but he was a, a, a real mentor because he built you up all the time. He was in my flight when I was a flight commander and, uh, you know, the type of guy you could give a job to and he'd get it done. Hale is survived by his wife Sandra, son James Jr., three brothers and one sister. He was 66 years old. In Floyd County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. At the time of his death, Hale was planning to move back here to Kentucky. Fellow pilots say they had hoped Hale would be at the Wild Weasel's 50th anniversary reunion coming up in October in Dayton, Ohio.